Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Welcome to October. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for you. Please keep in mind that it is general, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, we could be speaking to a cross-watcher here. Place this into your life as it fits. This is a timeless reading. Even though it is coming through for the month of October, it doesn't necessarily have to resonate for you during that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Okay, Virgo. Two more shuffles here. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of seeing like a golden energy for you. And I don't necessarily even know how to translate that. It, it, this, there's a feeling here, Virgo, that this energy means everything and yet not necessarily anything at the same time. Very mysterious, golden, God source creator, like pure creator essence. Everything and nothing at the same time. One more shuffle. Weird, Virgo. Uh, it, it, in terms of this energy, it, it feels like it's like influencing you to accept the divinity of all things. Whoa. Forcing you to look at the situation, people, places, and things in this way. Everything is divine in its own right. Because everything is of a divine energy, which is source, God, source, creator, whatever. For some of you, this is, this is causing you to face judgments you have passed upon yourself and upon others. That's kind of how this is translating for some of you. For others of you, this is not necessarily so like, oh, shame on you. <laughs> It, it also it's kind of it's breathtaking it's enlightening it's you're seeing life through different um you're seeing life i want to say you're seeing life through what i heard was rose colored glasses but that's not necessarily a good thing you know uh, through different lenses for some of you you may have been seeing life through rose colored glasses of your own, ooh, of your own dogma. Whoa! But now, something is removing those, those lenses for you and you're seeing life as it truly is. You're seeing deeper into reality. You're seeing more of reality. You're seeing less through your own conditioning and more through an unconditional, open, higher vibration, vibratory space or viewpoint. Wow, Virgo. Death is your first card. The Page of Swords. Okay. Death, Page of Swords, Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, and Justice. All right, so uh, for some of you here, this, this, is a, this is an event. Something happened that, got you, that is getting you to look at things in a different way. Something has transformed, something is transforming, and or something has transformed within you. Something having transformed within you is the dominant energy, but take it as it resonates. And because of that, you are seeking understanding in terms of something new a new direction, a new sense of inspiration. I'm also kind of hearing a new form of intelligence. But this intelligence is showing up as a wand, which to me means it is a deeper spiritual intelligence. With that, you have the Six of Wands and Justice. Oh, damn. Yes, riding into victory, but... Um, uh, what I'm hearing, I'm hearing things now of like, I'm, I'm hearing the phrase, a pompous windbag. Someone who is very prideful. Someone who rides around here on their high horse like their shit don't stink. Kind of energy with this six of wands. 
it feels like someone in some ways, in some cases, in some circumstances, it feels like someone's being knocked off their high horse here in terms of something, in terms of a belief that they have held. And it's not really because anyone is necessarily looking for revenge. It actually is really in order to bring balance into a situation, justice, in order to balance the scales. In some ways, it feels like somebody is being proven wrong here somehow. But, it's, but source is coming through. And sources coming through, please don't look at this as you are being punished, you are being grounded. Um, this is not meant to punish you or not really meant to punish this person. It's really to, to show them the error of their ways and to get the situation balanced and harmonized in some way. Source, what I just heard is sources intelligence is much greater than you think. You're not the smartest one in the room. You're not always right. There are some things that you just don't understand and that's okay. That doesn't make you less of an intelligent person. It doesn't make you less of a capable person. Somebody is being humbled a bit by the universe with intentions for you to grow and to heal and to gain a new perspective that ultimately will bring more happiness and harmony for you, will ultimately, for some of us, or for some of you here, will ultimately allow you to be more harmonic with the people around you or to live more in harmony with the people and, and or just things around you. Justice is a Libra energy. Libra is all about balance, harmony, unity, you, well, union, I want to say. This is something that ultimately is allowing you to change your perspective so that you can be of greater harmony with those around you. The lovers is your overall energy. This is also another union energy, divine union. This is a dualistic energy, yin and yang, positive and negative, good and, and or bad. You can't have the good without the bad and vice versa. You can't have the bad without the good. And you have to take it all as it is, as it comes. You can't have one without the other. Now, in terms of what death represents here, I feel a level of intrigue with this transformation. This transformation is causing someone to feel Hold on. Okay, I wanted to let that truck go by. It's causing someone to feel curious. Huh. Okay. Let me investigate this more then. The gears are definitely turning in your mind about this. Someone is definitely learning something here and is curious about it. And this is, very, this is a very good thing. Very good thing. So let's talk about that then. What's this death for Virgo? What's this transformation, this transformative energy? What's death for Virgo? Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. And the Three of Cups. Overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. A new start. A fresh experience is what I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles energy, and that's coming with the Knight of Wands, a new path, a new way forward. I was saying something very similar to Leo. But what I'm getting with this, because also this has come out with the Three of Wands, what I'm getting with this is like, this is a new way to emerge back into the party or a new way to associate with individuals. 
again, there is an energy here of something being balanced, justice being served in some way that allows someone to be of greater harmonic match and or greater harmonic potential with others around them or with the surrounding circumstances or with the environment, three of cups. And so Virgo, this is a new reality. This is a new seed of a plant of a new reality that you can start growing. Hypothetically or speaking, you know what I mean? Overall energy is the seven of pentacles. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles is kind of meaning two things. One, it's meaning the process of growth. One, it's because somebody is curious here. So in terms of this Ace of Pentacles, in terms of this new reality, this new process, this new start, this new seed of a plant that is ultimately going to lead to a brand new tree or whatever, a new branch of your life, a, 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 yeah, a shit, a new branch of your life. This could be a, a, a complete start over, but someone is curious in this energy. Like I said, this transformation is making somebody curious. You're like, uh, Virgo's like, okay, let me, let me do more research before I go popping off at the mouth. Okay, great, Virgo. <laughs> but so somebody is investigating, doing research. What I'm getting with the seven of pentacles is learning how to effectively nurture this new plant in order to get the best yield late, ultimately later on when it's, har when it's harvest time. But also, this seven of pentacles is kind of a reminder, a reflective type of energy saying, well, okay, well obviously something needs to change here because this is not this is the, not the type of growth that I want, or this is the, not the type of fruit that I want, ultimately. Some of you are having to admit that to yourselves. Okay, all right, fine. You're right, I don't want this. I don't wanna be seen in this way. I don't wanna have these strained relationships with people. I don't wanna have this type of harvest. I don't wanna have this type of reality. I don't want this in my reality all along. Or at all, excuse me. Oh, I haven't wanted this in my reality all along. Ooh. Okay. All right. So I guess I'm going to have to accept the fact that I've got to change something. I've got to do something differently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But ultimately, Virgo, understand that this is going to lead to greater harmony. It's meant to. I'm literally getting the energy of Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, having this new, this Ace of Pentacles could even be an offer that you are giving, making to someone, maybe a peace offering or the offering of a new start. Turn over a new leaf. Let's start this. Let's, let's start over. But I'm seeing someone being able to come back to the party or coming to the party with something new to offer, Re at returning to the party, returning to the collective, returning to the group, returning to the relationship. I, I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But I'm seeing an energy of someone returning to a party fresh and new in a whole new alignment. In some cases, I just heard having something to offer this time not coming to the party empty-handed. For some of you here, this could be resonant with a situation in which like you were the goody-goody of the group, of the situation. And now you got yourself into some shit and now you're tarnished too. Yeah. Well, you're human. You're meant to get a little dirty. Maybe a lot dirty, sure. I feel like someone is kind of, has kind of been knocked off their high horse. Let's talk about that, Six of Wands. <coughs> Clarify the Six of Wands for Virgo. Woo! Ooh. Page of Wands in reverse. This Page of Wands is, what I'm hearing here is a goody goody. Um, oh gosh, there was another fra uh, word or phrase that I heard, but now I've forgotten it. But it's along those lines, a goody goody, uh, 
over an overachiever um, someone that is someone that thinks that they're always right or they have all the answers or something like that six of wands clarify the six of wands here for Virgo the wheel of fortune what goes around comes around Mm. righteousness self-righteousness overly righteous you can't what goes around comes around virgo you can't be out here ten, telling anybody and they mama about themselves and not expect to not have to swallow your own shit sometimes not have to face your own shit at some point you're not perfect you're human just like the rest of us or this person is human just like the rest of us i mean like this is a this is kind of a reality check what goes around comes around. Overall energy is the Knight of Cups. You're, you're literally being taught a lesson in compassion here. You're, or at least you're needing to face or you're facing, having to face some, some level of needing to accept compassion or be more compassionate. I want to clarify justice. And to be honest with you, I'm seeing the tower already. I want to, I, I want to know what this, like, I literally, like, I'm, I literally feel like the universe came in and like sat somebody down. What's justice for Virgo? King of Wands. The Hermit. Back to the Seven of Pentacles. As the overall energy. King of Wands. The Hermit. The Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Wands. The Hermit. Okay. Everyone and everything is divine in their own right. What someone chooses to say and or do with themselves is really none of your business. They have their own reasons. They have their own path. They, are their, they have their own connection with source. They have their own source of inspiration. They have their own feelings about things. And they're allowed to have this. Everyone is entitled to this. Everyone is divine in their own right. That's what I want to say about this. So this justice energy here, it, I feel like the universe is coming through and saying, you don't have all the answers. You don't know the reasons why someone else is aligned a certain way or why they want a certain thing or they, why, why they want to go in a certain direction or why they want, feel a certain way. And it's not necessarily just because of the fact that they've had their own uh, experiences in life that may have shaped them into the person that they are standing before you right here, right now. It goes way deeper than that. They have their own reasons for their existence, for their experience. There's something more, there's something deeper behind this that you necess don't necessarily know about. You are not the authority on everything. That's how justice is being served in this way. And even though the tower hasn't come out, what I'm getting from this energy, Virgo, is this is enough, of, this is a tower moment in and of itself. The King of Wands, the Hermit, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Wands, uh, intention, passion, self-confidence, self-awareness, uh, uh, knowing what it is that you want and not allowing anyone to stop you. No one can really stop you or anyone else. They have their own reasons for it and they don't need your validation or this King of Wands energy has their own reasons for doing something or going after a certain thing or for whatever reason, whatever it is they want and they don't need your approval. They don't need your approval, King of Wands, but then also King of Wands with the Hermit because they are a divine being as well. They have their own sense or 
of light. They have their own light to shine. They have their own path in life that is very secure, four of wands, has nothing to do with you. You are not the individual that sustains this person. They have their own source of sustainment and fulfillment within themselves. They have their own authority, I guess you could say even, is what I just heard. Four of Wands, they're good. They were good without you before and they will be good without you later on if necessary. I mean like it, and we're not, we're not saying this to hurt you. We're not saying to, we're not, we're, we're, it's so much deeper than just, it's so much deeper than that, Virgo. Seven of Pentacles. Overall energy, again, clarifying justice now. So, with that knowledge, now what do you do? Are you going to change up your approach? Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo. New into, ooh, seven of wands. Lots of wands energy. This is a very passionate situation. Ace of wands. Take this one. Oh, the fool. Oh, yeah, okay. The fool, the five of swords, and the two of pentacles. Boundaries, boundaries um, with the seven of wands here. And what I was going to say initially, I was feeling like the seven of wands to the eight of wands, I'm sorry, to the ace of wands, the seven of wands and the ace of wands make the eight of wands or seven plus one equals eight. And I'm thinking, I'm feeling like um, there are, there are, there, uh, there are greater level of boundaries somehow. Um, but I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing with the Seven of Wands energy here, I'm seeing you leaving something in the past, creating some sort of boundary between that energy that, you were, that was in the past and your now. And that is opening up the field for you, or that is clearing blockages for you. And that's where I was seeing the Eight of Wands. Seven, the Ace is the inspiration uh, to Seven of Wands, leave something in the past, like, no. No, you're not coming with me, or this is not coming with me. And that opening up the way for you to the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is your overall energy clarifying this. So, okay, there's that. The Fool, also with this now, you have the Fool, the Five of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So the Fool is talking about a leap of faith. Being, being a little foolish jumping into something that you don't necessarily know much about, but you can learn about. Absolutely. But then Five of Swords and Two of Pentacles. Um, and actually, what I was, what, initially what I was getting with this, Virgo, is what I'm hearing now is leave the past behind. Either you can stay, at Kate, stay here and stand in this energy is, I guess I want to call it prideful energy or this, this spiteful energy or just like this, whatever this six of wands high horse energy is, you can either stay here or you can walk away from that five of swords and choice is yours. Some of you are, mm, somebody here is being stubborn and now is, is, is using this energy of, okay, well then, well then explain it to me then. Like feigning, somebody is feigning curiosity here. Or someone is being a little snippy about it, but that's also because it kind of feels like they're having to eat their words a little bit. Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords for Virgo. The Chariot. 
Woo! Okay. The Chariot. The Eight of Cups, Strength. The Queen of Pentacles reversed, the Two of Cups reversed. Whoa. Overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Ooh. Eee, yeah. Ooh, this is a icky energy. This is a, this feels like a little bit of narcissism here. It does. Queen of Pentacles reversed, Two of Cups reversed does not give me a good feeling. The chariot feels like somebody showing up in their true essence or what I heard is someone's true essence being shown, being revealed, being shown to them. Somebody else's true essence being shown to them. Also, this is giving me feelings of what we were talking about here. King of Wands and the Hermit, you know, they have their own reasons. They have their own sense of guidance they have their own passions their own desires their own things that they want to go after or do create or sh ways they want to show up in the world whatnot whatever and that with the chariot here that is being shown and or proven to whomever has been forced to take a seat and that is causing ultimately either has caused or is going to have to cause someone to walk away from a cause from a cause, really. I, uh, I don't know how else to say that. And swallow their pride, strength. Because ultimately here, you have the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Cups reversed. So this is a relationship with somebody else. Could just be a general relationship with other people in general, or it could be a specific thing. What I am feeling certain kind of specifically is kind of like the overbearing mother archetype here of the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Maybe a helicopter mom type of energy, helicopter parent. This also feels manipulative. It feels like the type of parent or um, provider that uses their ability to provide financially, physically, whatnot, whatever, to, a, to another individual or others in the relationship. They use that to get what they want. They manipulate the others within this relationship through their ability to um, provide. And this was a toxic relationship or the circumstances of this relationship are toxic. I don't necessarily feel like this is meant to end the relationship altogether. I mean, that's possible. But really, I do, for some here, I feel like this relationship can still stand, but the circumstances of it need to change. The ground that you stand on in, within this relationship needs to be reworked. The foundation, there it is. The foundation of this relationship needs to be changed, needs to shift. And this is all, this is all having to do with greater harmony in the world. Ten of Cups, greater harmony. Again, whether this is with one other person, a specific individual, a specific relationship, or just the greater collective or the group of people around you, or the way that you associate, or the way that this person associates with the rest of the world. This is all about being able to be of or to be in greater harmony. So sit down and take a gander into or learn about, investigate, observe, Page of Swords, the true divinity within all things. Even the things that you don't necessarily like, condone, understand, care for, um, Okay, I mean, you're entitled to that opinion. No, no, no one is faulting you there. But also, if it's not directly affecting you, if it's not having a direct adverse effect on your life, then it's really none of your business. I hate to break it to you. And I say that lightly, like, 
well, I, I don't say that lightly. That, that, that energy of like, if it's, not, if it's not having a direct adverse effect on you. Oh, oh, that is tricky. Oh, that is tricky, Virgo. Because somebody here is using that as an excuse, is saying, well, it's causing me turmoil, it's causing me pain. Is it really? In some cases, somebody is sticking their nose where it doesn't really belong. Somebody's a busybody. Ooh, that was the other word, busybody. Hmm. You are entitled to your opinions. Absolutely, 100%. And you are entitled to live your life to your standards. But you are not entitled to require others to live by those standards just because that's what you believe in. It, you cannot go out there causing trouble, causing a ruckus, stirring things up for other people because you feel like they should be living in a certain moral way. That's none of your business. Unless those people come to you asking for your advice, wanting to take up your charge, wanting to believe or what it is you believe or learn about how it is you move or wanting you to do this for them, unless they're coming to you and asking for that, it's none of your business, babe. And actually what's really causing you pain and turmoil is the fact that you're trying to do this for other people or trying to force other people or create this for other people and it's causing you pain. It's causing you drama. It's causing you trauma. You would be less stressed out if you just focused on your own self. You would be. Naturally. Closing message here for Virgo. Now, Virgo, keep in mind, as I was saying, this could either be, or at least as I said in the beginning of the reading, this could either be you or this could be somebody else. We could be talking to a cross watcher here or like, just take it in your life as it resonates, yeah? Closing message for Virgo. Oh, the Empress in reverse. Ooh, yes, honey. Overbearing getting a manipulative energy i'm getting an energy of the the opposite of what the upright or harmonious or balanced or uh, yeah upright empress would be you can grow in my garden and you can grow all you want but you're gonna have to do it my way you're gonna have to do it the way i see it you're you, you know whereas the upright empress would be like yeah baby Go ahead, go on with your bad self. Love yourself, do, you, do your thing. I love you for who you are, just grow, babe. Just do it. Just go out there and be you. Mm. This is also um, an overbearing mother. The Empress reversed the Hierophant and the Nine of Wands. The King of Cups. So there is a level of nurturance here. Someone is trying to be a nurturer. Someone may legit trying to be a nurturer and is actually going through a process of learning how to be a beneficial mother or nurturer in some way. And so while somebody here doesn't necessarily have bad intentions, there might be, they're definitely within this energy, there are definitely some individuals that are consciously doing this and they know exactly what it is they're doing and they're being told to take several seats. But there are others within this energy that don't necessarily know, don't understand this yet, and they are learning it now. And this is a good thing, okay? So, you guys get it, okay. But, you're having to stand up in a new and better way. There may even be a necessity for apologies and or reconciliation. You have the King of Cups as your overall energy. And the King of Cups here is feeling like someone needing to fess up or own up for their actions and or who it is they have been. Come to terms with that, be aware of that and then stand up and be emotionally responsible or hold, have some sort of accountability, right? That's what the King of Cups represents. 
in this situation as the overall energy. And that is a direct effect or a direct result of the Empress, the, um, the I'm sorry, the um, Hierophant and the Nine of Wands. Someone is learning a lesson in terms of being in misalignment with some sort of nurturing type energy. Now, again, for some of you, this is someone that is learning how to actually be a better nurturer, a better wife and or mother, a better caregiver, whatever. But for others of you, somebody here is actually very much coming to terms with the fact that they've been a manipulative provider. And some sort of justice is being served. I, mm, for some of you here, I just heard somebody is getting karma handed to them on a silver platter. This is all meant to teach. This is all meant for learning and growth. Okay? Keep that in mind. On the grand scheme of things, from the energy that this awareness is coming from, that gold energy I was seeing in the beginning of the reading, this is not meant to reprimand you or, or discipline you or anything like that. No, it's just meant to teach you. It's just meant to learn so that you can learn and grow. You are just, you are just as much a part of that divine energy as everyone else is. Okay, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, Virgo. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for, th available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Yeah, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>